Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing God of War Ragnarok. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. All right, so we're continuing on our journey in Svartalheim. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. So Sindri just came by and gave us a compass, uh, which can help us in our, our quest. Uh, we can stay, uh, you know, keep our bearings, basically, uh, if we're paying attention to what direction we're going, etc. So... <laughs> was... Uh, so it's interesting how all the dwarf houses are made, uh, specifically for their height or maybe even a little bit less. I don't know. Brock and Sindri don't seem to be that much shorter. Uh, they seem to be just slightly shorter than Atreus and these houses seem to be about, uh, three quarters height. All right. So... If you ever notice, no matter what dock you go to, there's always a boat waiting for you. Uh, but if you look at <laughs> if you look at a dock in the distance, never, there's never a boat there. Just that serendipity of being a god, I suppose. All right, so yeah, we got 38 hacks over by uh, destruction of property. <laughs> All right, another gateway. Nothing wrong with that, because um, we can travel in between, I think, gateways if it comes to it. So as long as that we, ha as long as we have access to the realm, and as long as we have access uh, or have come across the gateway, we're good to go. I think uh, we'll find out more. As we get, uh, as we go along, we're kind of going in uh, more or less a. Uh, well, I don't think it's linear. It was a linear path for a while, and now I, I think it's we're less linear now, and we're kind of more or less on our own, where we can choose between doing uh, different things. If you wanted to go explore, if you want to do uh, this new favor, uh, side quest, whatever you want to call it. You see these plumes of black smoke. Oh, here we are right here. All right, out into the Bay of Bounty. New area revealed. So when you look at your map, now it'll show. And that's another thing. Having a map to look at helps me out. Uh, I know it doesn't always help people out because they kind of uh, remember things like this, like, okay, you go turn left at the the dead tree, turn right at the dead body, and, and you're there. Um, but some people, uh, some people like me, I like to look at the map every once in a while and be like, oh, okay, we need to go, we need to go south, or what have you. Yeah, so Odin wanted uh, the the dwarves under his thumb working for him and only him and the best way to do that is not to kill them but to have them in servitude <laughs> what kind of dragon is that dead all right so we got a beach here we can go on dragon beach hidden region so yeah there's a so I wonder what came first. I saw that there was a now uh, there's an enemy there. Uh, the actual dragon or the statue of the dragon, which you saw just to my right and above. These guys are oh spitters. At least two different kinds, I would say. There we go. Look at that. Tetzel worm. I remember those guys from 
the previous game. Yeah, I give him a thrashing. Oop, and then... Ah, there's a guy. Up top, yeah, there we go. He's got a splitting headache. Behind you. You gotta hit him with the uh, the bow to knock him off their perch, and then you can dispatch him. However, these guys they'll burrow, and then you have to uh, track them down or be aware of them. Yeah, he went underground. Bronze tier, kill tatzel worms. There we go. Is that the last one? No, there's more. Ah. <laughs> there we go. I always forget about using those uh, boulders. They look a l just enough to me like a chest. Oop, that's not it. Keep going. Yeah, the arrows do a whole bunch of stun damage. Uh, not a lot of damage necessarily. 132 XP, that's all right. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, it's a projectile. I always forget. I don't know why. Uh, well, like I said, I, it looks just enough like a chest. Rune reeds and lore and... You know, I don't know if that's it for anything in particular or if it's just for show. Oh, and look at that. There's something behind there. See if we can hit it from here. Nope. I think we must have to go around. Yeah. Because I think you have to hit it with the axe. There we go. That looks like the back of it. Yeah, I can't do it with the arrow. Got to do it with the axe. There we go. So we got a Nornir chest around here somewhere. So did the dragon come first, and then they made a statue of the dragon? Or did the statue come first, and then the dragon showed up after? See, now, if you didn't, if you don't play around with this stuff, you never would know that there was something behind it. All right, so axe. There we go. Two out of three, just one left. Uh, maybe they're doing a theme, so you have to, uh, there's a a spring, a geyser that you have to uh, deal with. Ooh, that one completely busted up. Alright. Alright, there's another one of those, and you can't just attack them outright. They don't attack back, but they have a decent amount of stuff, but in order to do that, you have to... Uh, attack him from behind, or maybe that will work. Nope, that won't work. So we'll have to try and figure out how to uh, take that guy out. So go up here. Uh, whatever that is, we need something... specific just for that. Uh, and we don't have it yet, so whatever it is, wasn't a total loss. Uh, we got hack silver coming up here. We can look around for that last seal. Uh, there's the chest, and it shows you you've got one left, one seal left. And oh, there's a geyser, and sure enough, so let's get over here, line it up. And there we go. 
chest is unlocked. So we just have to hop on down and open the chest. Let's see what's in this one. All right, a horn. Ah, rage. Horns of blood mead. Maximum rage increase. First one is an automatic increase. After that, it's it's going to cost you at least two, if not more. All right, so onward. Enough playing around here. We've got business, uh, both with the side quest and the main quest. Uh, there's a uh, raven, looks like, right there. Here's another beach that we can go to. You never know when you get out of the boat how big these sections are. Oh, and look at that. If you weren't looking around, things that you can miss by not uh, checking around. One forged iron. I mean, yeah. Could you have skipped it? Yeah. I mean, one here, one there. It doesn't make that big of a difference. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things. But early on, each one means might mean one upgrade that you couldn't get uh, until later on. If you miss it. And they start adding up where it starts to affect how much uh, your upgrades and being, you know, under-leveled, so to speak. All right. Always looks like a big pile of gold. All right, so that's a way up. There's some destructibles. Something over there in the corner. Hack silver, maybe. Sure enough, and wait. Oh, it's blocked. So we have to get up there to knock it down. But then we can go straight up and down, and we don't have to take a, a roundabout way, kind of like this. So move our way up and see what there is to see. The Watchtower. Yeah, always be observing, always looking around uh, when you're not fighting. But even when you're fighting, you kind of want to have your head on a swivel. That's uh, locked. No, it's still here. <laughs> the island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it to unlock that door. So Mimir feels bad about this whole situation. He kind of feels like he enslaved the the dwarves, I think, to Odin. Draugr hole. Whoa. He just shot lava at me. Oh, that was a bad block. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Uh, boss or mini boss. The hateful. Yikes. That was not a good block, but it was a good time to... Uh, Start punching. And it's not taking a whole lot of damage off of them. Oop, look out. Wall of lava, and there's other guys here. Oh, I thought I rolled out of the way. There we go. Splitting them in two. Gotta look out for the uh, attacks from this guy. Especially the hateful, because, yeah, I don't like that I am lose health when I'm on fire like that. You lose a lot, it feels like. There we go. You almost have to. You're on fire. You almost have to uh, parry so that you can, yeah, that was not good. Oof. Oh, good one. That would have been the end of me there. Wow. Yeah, one hit. I'm one hit away from biting. 
Ooh, that was so close. Yes. Born from Fire started. And that magma pile just cooled off. Got some... The Hateful. Got a Cursed Empress Handle. Dust of Realms. XP. Hack Silver. All kinds of stuff. Slag Deposits. All useful things and... <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Mining rig is close. Oh, and Odin is closer. Eyes of Odin. So there is one. Okay. 48 ravens. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a lot like the last game where it's just interesting. Oh, you're shooting already. Well, okay then. Yeah, air juggle. There we go. There's plenty of guys here. Oh, there's another Nornir chest. Oh, and a guy up there. Dislike. Block, block, parry, dodge. <laughs> I don't know. Once you get hit once, it feels like you can't parry after that. It's like, oh, gift of strength. Yeah, I need to get away. I'm down to nothing again. Being up here, at least I have a, a chance. They're not hitting me from every angle. Let's see if I can... There we go. There we go. Do some damage. Ooh, there's health if I can get to it. There we go. I really need to remember to use those blocks. So I think that would probably do a lot more good. Oh, I remember those guys. I don't remember what they're called now, but they're they're annoying because <laughs> you can you basically have to throw your your axe at them or whatever and uh, and or. have Atreus shoot at him, uh, and if you're waiting on arrows, it's not going to be pretty. Alright, so where's the other guy? I know there's at least one more. Ooh, I got him. I didn't think I was going to get him with that. I feel like I got hurt from that. Check a block with materials. Yeah, a little late there. A little late there with that. Oh, there we go. So, use the Blades of Chaos and ignite it. So, unlike the other ones that I've used the Leviathan Axe, I need to use the uh, Blades of Chaos. There we go, there's one. Just have to do... Two more. Just have to find the other two and grab uh, some health while I'm at it. There we go. Almost full health and like full or almost full. Wonder if it's a, yeah, it's an arrow thing. There we go. Light it up. All right. Two down, one to go. Ooh, there's a chest over here. I mean, just hack silver, but still. Axe over I wouldn't have had otherwise. 
And then those things I probably could have used in the fight. Oh, a lore scroll. Ooh, full on health. That's always a, a nice problem to have. I'll take it. One of those things I should have been utilizing during the fight, but whatever. All right. Oh, there we go. There's something over there. Exploding jar. Ah, and there we go. The chest is unlocked. Before we get to that, let's uh, take care of this. Oh, we're going to slice it open. Nice. Combination fire and ice. There we go. One mining rig shut down. Two to go. Forged iron. And uh, Nidavel. Nidaveller? Or? I'm sure that'll come in handy. Oh, another apple. Ah, see, now you need two to upgrade your health. It's not going to be very helpful until we get that second one. All right, did we get everything here? Uh, well, we can keep climbing up, so it's either a way back. Oh, there we go. See, that just goes back to the contraption that uh, Mimir created, helped created, whatever, and now he wants brought offline. Oh, there we go. I didn't see that going the other direction. That's weird. All right, so I think we can just go back to the boat and continue on our quest. Well, maybe we should talk to... There we go. Now we got some different armor because uh, we had gotten that uh, ore. If we shut down the other two rigs and then built harvest ore. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, Mimir feels really horrible, I think, about the dwarves' plight um, and feels pretty helpless to do anything about it. He helped Odin out uh, at the expense of the dwarves. All right, what did we get there? Like, you know the crates are all hack silver. Rawhide. Yeah, I just... You know, I don't really pay attention to what I need for upgrades, at least at this point. I'm just like, oh, I can upgrade this. Oh, I remember this. You open this up and you go fight the Valkyries, but the Valkyries are all gone. Yeah, the, the dagger. <laughs> that still works. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you start a new game, even if it's a continuation from a previous game, it's like, oh man, start over from scratch. Uh, but at least that, well, that's a way up once we get up there. Looks like that's all we can do from here at this point. Somewhere, we should be able to uh, get to a higher ground and then drop the, drop the line to the lower ground. But yeah, starting over uh, sucks. But it's it's always cool to see the progression, the power progression where you you know you don't have a lot of health, you don't have a lot of that the rage meter, your defense and attack and all that stuff is not that great. Ah, speaking of defense, increase permanent defense increase by two. 
So we can take a hit a little bit better than we did previously. But that's the whole power progression. Uh, you start off low, you get more powerful as you go along. And it just makes sense because if you have ever played a game, maybe like a, a roguelike game uh, where you always, no matter how many hours you play, you always start off with the same amount of power every time. You can feel like that doesn't, like it doesn't matter. Like what's the, what's the point of playing if you aren't, progressing at all uh, and they have other other ways of pr progression uh, even if it's not a, a power progression so unlike those kinds of things ooh, that's neat ah not for now that's for later when we get more tools yeah it looks neat but it's probably really uh dangerous so in addition to story progression we also have power progression so every time that you're playing you can feel like you're you're progressing the story and or you're progressing with your your power so you're getting a little bit more power even if it's only you know adding two defense because you got a, a tear drop or Alberic Island, uh, or whatever, whatever the case may be. You can always feel like you're progressing somehow. You're learning something new. You're doing something different, uh, your different location, or uh, learning a new skill, or what have you. All right, so we've got the, uh, the gongs or the bells. Uh, this should look familiar. Uh, this was in the last God of War, where you have to hit each one, which is nothing new. But instead of destroying the, the seal, instead you are uh, you have to hit each one within a certain time frame, otherwise it will reset. So, need to get this up high enough. Uh, just so when you recall the axe, you can still hit it. There we go. That, that should do it. Swing and a miss. Oh, no. I got it. All right. So get it back. Come over here. That's number two. And the third one over here. There we go. And it's open. All right. So what's in this one? Ah, blood mead. Ah, uh, just like the uh, apple, now we need two of them to get any uh, progression. But that just means that the next one we get of either one will increase our power. Speaking of power progression, yeah, one of the things uh, on the last game is that you could have, there was a lot of stories that they would have in the boat and uh, I got to a point where I just kind of waited in the middle of uh, nothing and listened to the stories. Maybe it'll be like that uh, again. It's always interesting. Uh, there's that, and then there's the... Uh, oh, there's something right there. Getting all kinds of stuff out of the... Fishing it out of the bay. So let's see. We still have two. Is that right? Still have two rigs to take down. Plus, you know, in addition to that, we also have the... Uh, the main quest progression. Going and talking to Durlin. The supposed rebel leader depending on who you talk to. <laughs> Almost walked right past that. Another Eye of Odin. There we go. 
Hmm. That's interesting. You just break it open and you get what's in it. Alright, so we've got different levels here that we can get. Uh, we'll, we'll probably need different levels. And that's probably destructible, but uh, can't do it just yet. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. It's kind of the, the puzzle portion of the game. All right, so we can go across here. Oh, but we need to move that up so we can get across. So it's we put it too far down. So we need to move the wheel. There we go. That should do it. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about it being in between, which is good, because that's annoying. All right, there, that looks like an explosive barrel. And it was. Yeah, <laughs> experiment. Mimir was trying to be a smart a smart guy. All right. Got guys that are look like they're ready to come to life. <laughs> And move forward. So I think we'll probably finish up this puzzle island and probably stop there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. Impressive.
That should help. <laughs> Don't think we can reach her there. Looks right. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. 
Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. What is it, Mimir? Ah, it's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... ...go back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Journey through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Okay. What other Enough. terrible thing? We will continue later. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. The ground looks weak down here, Father. That gear looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there.
Key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Oh! 